Uh, well, you know, I don't know. I don't, you know, you know, <clears throat> but, you know, the thing, the part of, sure, what time? Going to McDonald's isn't usually a fancy experience. We all know what the typical Mickey D's experience is like. What a lot of people don't know is that there are some very fancy McDonald's locations out there in a host of different countries. If you're a fan of this fast food chain's juicy burgers, golden French fries, apple pies, and ice cold shakes, you may want to make visiting the world's fanciest McDonald's restaurants a priority. From McDonald's and mansions to UFO-shaped eateries and beyond, let's take a look at the top 10 fanciest McDonald's in the world. Dinner is served. The new Hyde Park, New York location is elegant. Springfield, 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 Springfield. New York, New York. New York is that away, man. Thanks, kid. If you want to nosh on typical McDonald's fare in a swanky atmosphere, be sure to head for New Hyde Park, New York, USA. You'll find a McDonald's which is a lot fancier than most. This elegant Mickey D's location will be a great place to hang out because you'll be able to eat in a Georgian mansion that was constructed way back in 1795. Known as one of America's most beautiful Mickey D's, this location is extra special, in part thanks to its colorful history. The mansion was bought by McDonald's execs, who initially planned to do a teardown and then change their minds. But only because some conservation-minded residents of New Hyde Park had the mansion declared a local landmark before it could be destroyed. Boom, boom, bat, bat, bat. Boom, 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 bat, 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 bat. Boom, boom. Since McDonald's executives weren't able to tear it down as they had hoped to, they decided to offer fast food right in the mansion. When you visit this location, you'll be able to enjoy your meal while relaxing on a veranda that's enclosed by glass. You'll also love the location's sweeping staircase. It's nice that this grand house was saved. It does have a lot of character. It's a beautiful place to enjoy fast food fare while in New York. Checking us out for the first time? Then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad. Now, more Fancy Mickey D's. Quarter Pounder Restaurants Popped Up in Tokyo so are you Chinese or Japanese? Tokyo is a city that's always on the cutting edge. It's a city where people are always looking for the latest novelty. Back in 2008, McDonald's decided to debut the Tasty Quarter Pounder in Japan. The company did so by setting up a retail outlet or two in Tokyo, which didn't feature any of the typical McDonald's logos and names. The shops had signs that said Quarter Pounder, as well as a sleek and sophisticated design. These fast food restaurants had black and red decor that was a step up from the chain's typical fast food joints. These eateries featured sofas from Le Corbusier and stripped down menus. What are you calling it? Hikamatata. Great joke. No making the food talk. Customers had a choice of just a couple of quarter pounder meals. One burger had cheese and one didn't. Food was served in black and red packaging for an ultra modern fancy look. The shops popped up in fashionable areas of Tokyo, but weren't destined to last. Later on, the quarter pounder with cheese was eliminated from McDonald's menus in Japan. Apparently, Japanese consumers don't appreciate the many virtues of the hearty quarter pounder with cheese. When this particular burger was removed from the menu in April of 2017, some Japanese Quarter Pounder fans did complain via social media, but Quarter Pounders are still off the menu. In 2015, McDonald's Japan went fancy again by offering access to Restaurant M, which was a one-day pop-up shop in Tokyo. It was designed to showcase fresh Mac LTO items. The eatery featured white tablecloths and enough seating space for 20 guests. Patrons who enjoyed the Restaurant M experience were served five quarter course meals, which included Vichyssoise Mac French fries, plus salads in gelatin. McFlurries were offered for dessert in elegant bowls. Okay. 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 Rotterdam is home to a dazzling glass Mickey D's. <laughs> In the 1960s, a building was constructed in the heart of Rotterdam, which was commonly perceived as an architectural nightmare. Some believed it was Rotterdam's ugliest building. Decades later, McDonald's powers that be decided to turn an eyesore into a cool, innovative, and high-end McDonald's restaurant. McDonald's Rotterdam execs teamed up with the May Architects Company to create a splendid new restaurant with the sleek, ultra-modern look of an Apple store. The ugly building was transformed into a veritable showplace. It features a dramatic spiral staircase, as well as a facade in gleaming gold. I love gold! 
The space is equipped with a lobby that's transparent. Patrons may enter the restaurant from three sides. This location is open every day and night. It never closes. A lot of care was given in terms of making the eatery looking amazing after dark, but it looks great in broad daylight too. If you visit, you may sit inside and enjoy the decor, as well as traditional American fast food, or lounge outside on outdoor seating that is the same as the outdoor seating in a lot of public squares in the city. That little boy is playing three games at once. Check me. Check me. Check me. Bang. A Portugal McDonald's is really glamorous. I had a dream last night that a hamburger was eating me. <laughs> If the idea of entering a McDonald's restaurant with a giant bronze eagle sculpture over the front door is appealing, head for Porto, Portugal. Its McDonald's is considered to be the ultimate in terms of beauty. Porto is an ancient coastal city which is situated in the northwest part of Portugal. It's renowned for its cobblestone streets and medieval architecture. This particular McDonald's opened in 1995. The space was formerly occupied by Cafe Imperial, which was a well-known coffee house that had been around since the 30s. Joey. Do you work here? No. Waiter. Yeah. <laughs> the coffee house was considered a shining example of the Art Deco style of architecture. When they took over the space, McDonald's execs made a point of keeping the majority of the building's charming architectural features in place. This restaurant is also referred to as the McDonald's Imperial. The fast food eatery looks just as good outside as it does inside, thanks to glittering chandeliers and a huge stained glass window. If you want to chomp your burger or McChicken sandwich in high style, you can do it at this Portuguese McDonald's. It's an architectural marvel that attracts plenty of locals and tourists. You'll feel like royalty as you enjoy classic Mickey D's fare in this highfalutin setting. In the name of the King, the Queen, and St. George. McDonald's Next in Hong Kong is a concept location. Forget it, Jake. It's Chinatown. Nestled inside the bustling Admiralty Station in Hong Kong, this fancy restaurant is all about reinvention. McDonald's Next provides a calm and serene dining experience to locals and tourists. A brand consultancy and retail design firm from Australia took on the challenge of transforming a typical fast food joint into something more chic. You call that a knife? This is a knife. This Hong Kong eatery doesn't have the usual bright colors and bright fluorescent lighting. It's got a sleek, silver tone look that is muted and sophisticated. The overall effect of this elegant and fancy McDonald's is understated with a little industrial edge. Some duct work is visible, oak wood is untreated, and walls have visible join works and studs. It has a bit of a warehouse vibe, along with fashionable elements that enhance beauty and comfort. Also, the lighting shifts from day to night, creating and inviting ambiance. Customers may order at computerized kiosks and then enjoy ultra-modern seating options that are perfect for a wide array of customers, from solo diners to couples to groups. Do you want to eat in a Mickey D's that looks like a costly Manhattan condo? If so, you'll probably adore this high-end McDonald's. It's got some features that are very hard to find at other McDonald's locations. Hey, it's too the, fast! It's the fast tour! Mr. Quick One! One Freeport, Maine McDonald's is really elegant. Why don't you go out in the burger suit for a while and hand out samples? No way! I don't want burger lines! Freeport is a compact seaside town in the state of Maine, USA. Freeport is known as the home of L.L. Bean. This fancy Freeport McDonald's is located close to L.L. Bean HQ, along with high-end shops, including Burberry and Polo Ralph Lauren. This particular Mickey D's is special because it's the only McDonald's in Freeport. It's also special because burgers and fries are served inside of a historic home known as Gore House, which McDonald's renovated to suit its needs. This mansion was constructed in 1850 for a successful local merchant named William Gore. Since the seaside town has pretty stringent building design regulations, the team at McDonald's decided to open a location in a residential zone. When people in Freeport found out about McDonald's plans, some residents of Freeport loved the concept and some just didn't. Opinions were all over the place. Construction was permitted, provided McDonald's stuck with the aesthetic of the town. The restaurant has the usual McDonald's look on the inside, with the traditional New England look on the outside. There's a drive through too. A number nine large, a number six with extra tip. If you admire quaint architecture that harkens back to days gone by and also love fast food, you'll enjoy eating at this McDonald's location. You won't find any golden arches here. It's not that kind of McDonald's. McDonald's can be 
the new American church. A Madrid, Spain location is palatial. If you want a fancier McDonald's experience, you may want to order your fave Mickey D menu items at this stunning McDonald's in Madrid, Spain. It's got a luxurious vibe that is ultra appealing and way different from the norm. When you visit this palatial Mickey D's, you'll be able to enjoy one exciting, exclusive, and unique menu item. This specific McDonald's offers cappuccinos dusted with chocolate, and you won't be able to find these designer coffee drinks at other locations. While McDonald's is offering more coffee drinks choices these days, such as caramel iced coffees, the cappuccinos at the fancy Madrid location aren't on the menu at other McDonald's restaurants. This is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. Clustered near other buildings which also have palace vibes, this decidedly fancy Mickey D's has a coffee house feel, but does offer the usual burgers and fries. Tourists who travel to Madrid and seek out familiar fast food at McDonald's will enjoy getting the burgers and fries and cappuccinos that they crave, while also marveling at the eatery's architectural details. If you're one of those people who Instagrams your lunch, this place may really inspire you. It'll provide some amazing backgrounds. Well, don't you know caffeine could cause serious delirium? Delirium? Serious delirium. But now you tell me. A Dallas Mickey D's has a luxurious interior. That look like spit to you? Yeah. Okay, this one is really fun. It's fancy in a way that's whimsical. This McDonald's looks like a huge Happy Meal. Who wouldn't enjoy eating here? While it doesn't have the look of a New England mansion or a European palace, it is special and fancy in its own way. It's not supposed to be sophisticated or have heritage credibility. It's supposed to embody the playful spirit of the Happy Meal and McDonald's famous cartoon characters, including Big and Purple Grimace and the mildly creepy Ronald McDonald. Most McDonald's don't have this type of playful architectural design. People who have visited this Dallas location are blown away by the building. They love its Happy Meal shape as well as its cool drive through which has the feel of a ride at Disneyland, thanks to airport runway-style ground lights as well as an overhead planetarium. Every NFL stadium could fit inside it. You'll find the usual McDonald's grub here. What's special is the atmosphere. It makes going to this Mickey D's feel like an event. At this location, the exterior is fabulous and the interior is pretty special too, with lots of shiny red design elements. This wild McDonald's has a Las Vegas or Disney vibe, even though it's situated in Dallas, Texas. It also has an epic play place. Local residents who are parents of little kids must love bringing them here for their birthday parties. Kids definitely love this unique Mickey D's. A Mick D's in Roswell, New Mexico has a UFO theme. Roswell is steeped in Area 51 lore, and one notable Roswell area McDonald's captures the Roswell spirit and spookiness thanks to its UFO shape. If you're into flying saucers and the whole Area 51 thing, this fancy Mickey D's may just be the McDonald's of your dreams. During the daytime, you'll love the UFO's sleek silver shape. At night, you'll appreciate the neon piping that illuminates its unique dimensions. A building close by features a big mural of beloved McDonald's cartoon characters who are flying spaceships around a brain the size of a planet. McDonald's arranged for this mural to be painted. The mural is a bit of a distraction while people are going through the drive through Lots of people enjoy fast food at this location, and just as many enjoy photo ops while they're there. While this fancy McDonald's isn't about elegance, it is definitely impressive. It's meant to capture the spirit of the region and spark the imaginations of visitors. <laughs> a Taupo New Zealand location is a decommissioned plane. That's quite a nice model, sir. Model. Would you enjoy eating fast food from McDonald's inside of a decommissioned plane? If so, head for Taupo, New Zealand, and then live the dream. 
Chill out and relax on board, knowing that you won't be subject to flight delays or typical airplane food. It'll also be nice to get off the plane whenever you feel like it, rather than being stuck in your seat for hours. This fantasy style McDonald's is definitely a fancy choice, and it's perfect for aviation buffs. The plane is a DC 3 twin propeller jet. It's a vintage airplane with so much style and retro appeal. This very special McDonald's seats just 20 guests. The plane is mounted atop a typical McDonald's restaurant, and it's a lure that draws in so many curious tourists. Leave in on a jet plane. <laughs> curious for more? Well, we've got plenty of other great videos ready and waiting for you to click on. And if you want to become an official Babble Topper, click on the join link in the description below to find out more.